speaking for the first time this session. As always, I'm at the leisure of those above me. Judges, PO, parliamentarian, please give me a nod or thumbs up to signal you're ready. Senators, today we've come together to discuss whether we should fully lift the arms embargo on the Socialist Republic of Vietnam to encourage more regional stability. This means that we would no longer restrict the sale of weapons, arms, and war material to Vietnam in order to, for them to defend themselves against the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China. According to, the, to the diplomat.com, Vietnam's army is currently supported and supplied weapons by Russia. They state that Russia has been a supplier of military equipment since the war and to be their main source of the country's naval modernization. I strongly believe that we should vote in negation of this bill because we do not know what Vietnam will actually do with the weapons and after, after they have access to them, and there's no reason that we should add more weapons to an area that is already filled with dispute. First, we should vote in negation of this bill because we do not know what they will actually do with the weapons. According to BBC World News, Vietnam is a growing threat to Taiwan's South China Sea claims. The two entities, along with China, want to take ownership of the territories that is in the South China Sea. But each of them are only finding one way to do this. War. I disagree with Senator Batia when she says that Vietnam will not misuse these weapons. Allowing Vietnam to have access to these powerful weapons, arms, and war material is a great risk that will involve not only the United States, but all the South China Sea, including the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Second, we should vote in negation of this bill because there's no reason for why we should add more weapons to an area that is already has a lot of dispute. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, Taiwan and China have been in the conflict since 1949, when Taiwan wanted to be independent from China. Since then, more arguments have risen for who owns the territories in the South China Sea. Up in the Council on Foreign Relations, freedom of navigation and is also a contentious issue, especially between the United States and China, over the right of U.S. military vessels to operate in China's 200-mile exclusive economic zone. If we lift the arms embargo on Vietnam, China and Taiwan may interpret this in a way where they believe the United States is trying to escalate conflicts in the region. This region is incredibly important to the welfare of the United States. According to the United States Census Bureau, more than $4.4 billion of imports and exports travel through the sea per year. By lifting the arms embargo, we will be provoking China in a way that may cause conflicts around the world. Others in affirmation of this bill may say that we should lift the arms embargo on Vietnam because they need to be able to do this. Although this is true, Vietnam is already getting enough support for their army, which is the 23rd most powerful in the world, from support from both Russia and China, according to the U.S. Department of State. In conclusion, we should vote in negation of this bill because we do not want Viet we do not know what Vietnam will actually do with the weapons, and there is no reason for why we should add weapons to an area that has already had plenty of conflicts. Lifting the arms embargo on the Socialist Republic of Vietnam will only increase tensions with other countries around the world, which will only put in more innocent lives in danger. I strongly urge you to vote in negation of this bill. Thank you, and I am now open to questions.